Because let's say, for example, that you started trading and you made some profit. Now, on the 25th of May 2022, I withdrew $650 from my trading account. On the 27th of May, which is about two business days later, I saw that the funds actually hit my account, $47,000, $22,000, $16,000, $15,000. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so welcome to part 3 of the Income Cash Flow Training Program. In this module, we'll be really breaking down the mechanics of how you can use the system that I'm about to show you to earn foreign currency tomorrow. Alright, so before we continue guys, we're just going to go through the objectives of the training program. And then we're also going to go through the key to success. And it's very, very important that you pay attention to what I highlight as being key to success as it relates to this venture. Like I said before, you want to avoid all the nonsense and the stupid bad decisions that I've made in the past that I had to pay with dollars. All right. So the first objective is that I want to help you to establish an extra source of income and an avenue to acquire foreign currency, specifically U.S. dollars. So, so let's say, for example, that you started trading and you made some profit in your trading account. So let's just use an actual example here. Now, on the 25th of May 2022, I withdrew $615 from my trading account. Now, the way FX Pro works is that you can with withdraw via bank transfer or bank card, or you can do a wire transfer. Now, a wire transfer is recommended for, for any, any transfer that are over $2,000. But since this is a small amount, what FX Pro did is that they broke down the 615 into multiple payments because they're using a software called Stripe. So they're actually transferring it um, straight to your bank card. All right. So you saw that they broke it down 102, 100, and then they actually sent the remaining 300 and 141. After that, on the 27th of May, which is about two business days later, I saw that the funds actually hit my account, 47,000, 22,000, 16,000, 15,000. Because what they did, like I said before, is that they split up the transfer. So this is the first option. And then the money was just um, credited to my bank account. So like I said before, guys, this is the first objective. I want to give you the knowledge that you can translate into cold, hard cash and you can have another income stream, preferably in foreign currency. So the second objective is that I want to help you to develop long-term trading consistency, built around a clear systematic process and trading psychology. Now, I hope you notice my emphasis on clear systematic process. This is one of the weaknesses of a lot of failing retail traders is that they don't have a clear, explicit system, a, written, a system that is written down with clear exit rules, entry rules, and journaling rules as well. So if we're supposed to just very quickly summarize the system. Now remember, I'll be breaking down each process in extreme detail, but step one is the scanning process. Now we're scanning for a specific technical analysis set up in the market. And what you're also going to learn is how to properly journalize your trade. So what you're seeing here is that I've taken snippets of all the trades and we're looking for a specific pattern. Now traders, the scanning process is very, very important. But before we even start to scan, we must have a database of trades that we have taken in the past. So you're going to journalize your winners and your losers. And then we're going to isolate our losers and we're going to try to learn from them. And we are going to isolate our winners and we're going to try to replicate them. Now this is what the pattern looks like. We want to see that price is breaking over the 10 moving average because the 10 moving average is a mathematical equation and it just tells us what the average close of each daily candle has been doing for the last 10 days, right? So we want to see that price is breaking up or below and then we want to move down to the 4-hour chart. So we're using three charts. We're looking on the 4-hour chart and we're always trying to find out what kind of story the candlesticks are telling us. Right, so we use two moving averages on the four hour chart, the 10 and the 20, and we use these horizontal lines, I call them buy and sell zones. And for this pattern, what it's telling me is that buyers enter the market, they try to push the price up, so there are buyers there. And I like seeing these candles here with small wicks, it shows that there's a lot of momentum and volume in the market. 
we see sellers trying to come back into the market to push the price down. And then because every time we have buying, sellers are always going to try to react or respond. And then we want to see the confirmation where buyers resume control of the move. So buyers, they act, we see the sellers respond, and then buyers come back in to push the price up. And this is the pattern that we want to focus on. So it starts with the scanning process, guys. And like I said before, you must have a database of trades where you isolate your winners and also your losers. And you're going to try to replicate your winners and you're trying to learn from your losers. Your losers are very, very important because we look at those trades that we lost money in the past and we're trying to really avoid those kind of setups. So like I said before, you're going to go to the chart and you're going to scan all the asset classes. You're going to, you're going to scan the fiat currencies, currencies like the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen and so on. Then you're going to scan the, the, the crypto charts. You're going to scan the commodities charts. You're going to scan the indices. And if we're going to make international equities plays, you're also going to scan for individual stocks. So scanning for a high quality, high probability setup is the first step of the process. Now I'm going to share an example with you. The same trade that we took on the euro versus the Swiss. I'm going to show you how that trade actually played out in real time from the start of the trade, how we managed it and the result of the trade. So let's go. All right, guys, so today is the 2nd of June and um, tomorrow will be Friday, the 3rd of June. It's actually the first Friday um, of, of the month and tomorrow is actually the non-farm payrolls. All right, so there's going to be a lot of volatility in the market overall. But I'm looking here at the euro versus the Swiss franc and I'm seeing what looks like one of my A plus setups. All right, so market has broken over the 10 on the daily. We have seen indication of buyers coming in, sellers trying to take back control and then buyers pushing the price back up. And I have to take a trade like this because it fits the criteria for the, the trigger and entrance that we're looking for. All right, so we have to put on some buy limits first. Just in case the price should retrace, I'm going to put close to this buy zone at um, 1.02795. And I'm going to put another buy limit. And then I'm going to put a buy market order. All right, so nothing has changed in our approach. Um, even though tomorrow is the non farm payrolls or technicals, yeah, this is the, the approach that we have used time and time again. So let's just see how this Euro Swiss trade plays out for tomorrow. All right, guys, so this is why this setup is an A plus setup because more times than not, we expect that price will not reverse against us and it actually and it will actually continue to upside. So it is now the 3rd of June. The non farm payrolls are just released, and you see that price is actually moving in our favor. What's happening to this? I'm just going to de risk the account and close these two limit orders. And I'm also going to move the break even just to lock in the profit that, we are, that we're experiencing here. And let's just see what happens for the next couple of hours. All right, guys, so it's now 5, 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, we closed off a tier. We moved the break even and we're just letting one mini lot run on the trade. So there's still a lot of buying pressure. Let's just see if the market still um, keeps us in the trade for next week. All right, guys, so today is the 6th of June, 2022. And you saw that our idea just to leave this one mini lot running is netting us about $71 on the trade. So all this started from this pattern here where buyers came into the market, sellers tried to take back control, then buyers um, took control and pushed the price up. Remember that when we see this pattern specifically, guys, what is telling us is that big players are in the market, right? So there are going to be there are going to be situations where we're going to have a volatility spike, and that is just basically the the bigger players trying to bait us into taking a particular trade. But when we see a confirmation like this, 
where buyers come into the market, sellers try to regain control, and then buyers resume their buying, um, it's really an indication that there is a lot of big um, money behind the move. And you're seeing that it continued into this week or break even stop loss was not it. So, you know, I think I'm going to liquidate this trade. It was a positive trade nonetheless. So let's just see what happens. Okay, guys, so that Euro Swiss buy trade was one of the best examples, I think, that depict the kind of technical analysis that we're going to use going forward in this training program. So you must learn how to develop long-term consistency but the only way that you're going to do that is if you have clear systematic rules and we're going to speak more about your trading psychology as we move on all right guys so the third step is that you must establish a scalable and consistent approach to profitable trading now the approach that i'll be showing you in the trading program it can be used on a hundred dollar account five hundred dollar account a thousand dollar account ten thousand dollar account Whatever the account balance is, you can use a similar approach. It's just about increasing your tier sizing accordingly. But traders, when I talk about sizing up and scaling up, don't just take my, my word for it. Let's just look at a live example that I took. A, a sell trade on the 31st of May 2022. So this is a video journal of the trade. And I was looking at my technical analysis. I was looking on how the the dollar was strengthening against all the asset classes and a plethora of things, but the technical analysis was what I was looking at. I saw that gold was selling off. I saw that very minimal buying was taking place. And I saw this as an opportunity to really size up. I saw a pullback on the 15 minute chart and I wanted to gamble that the price would bounce from this level. So instead of using my predetermined five mini lots, I actually entered the trade with some standard lots. And I don't want to pray into myself. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But what you're seeing here, if I should just go forward a little bit, looking at the lot size, you're seeing that it's 2.5. Standard has $25 per point. So I took that trade and what you're seeing is that I've scaled up with the size. You're seeing here that I'm making about $122 on the trade. You're seeing that I actually closed off about $290. So I entered when the price pulled back and then as price makes it way down, I, I closed off a tear and moved the break even. And then what I did, if I should just scrub forward, is I just left a small portion running. So is the system scalable? Of course it is. Because we entered with a high lot size. And as we go forward in the training program, I'll be showing you exactly how you can do this, increasing your lot sizes and your tier sizing. Closed off about $264. And then I, I left um, about four mini lots running. And then as time progressed, I closed off three more mini lots. That's a hundred and two dollars profit. Still at break even. And then I left, um, one mini lot running. It's very important that you pay attention to what I personally believe are the keys to success. So in order for you to be successful, you must adhere to these four rules. Any deviation from these rules is a recipe for destruction. The very first thing. You must ensure that personal expectations are eliminated. You cannot place personal expectations on the market, especially when, when we are speculating, because we do not dictate what our opportunities are. The market really tells us what our opportunities are. The second thing is that we have to prioritize capital preservation. In order for us to be consistent, we must ensure that we don't blow up our capital. Now, the fourth key to success is that you must adhere to the predetermined rules that are set. So the rules that relate to tier sizing, entry, holding, and exit, we must adhere to those rules. If we deviate, 
it may really jeopardize our ability to be consistent. And the last thing is that you must be able to take a loss gracefully. Never overreact, never overtrade, never revenge trade. Losing is a part of the game. You must learn how to lose and lose graciously. I know that the way that we're all socialized is that we hate losing. We're always taught that we have to be perfect. In trading, in order for you to be consistent, you must be able to just take the loss, understand why you, you went wrong, and just move on and try not to repeat the same mistake. Alright guys, so enough with the theory. In the next module, we'll be breaking down every single part of the trading system. I'll see you there.